हेलो एंड वेलकम वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल फार्मा वैन इन टुडे आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट हैंडलिंग ऑफ मार्केट कंप्लेंट सो मार्केट कंप्लेंट इज नॉट अ वेरी डिजायरेबल सिनारियो व्हेन वी आर वर्किंग इन फार्मास्यूटिकल मैन्युफैक्चरिंग प्लांट बट इट इज समटाइम्स अ फेनोमेना विच वी हैव टू फेस वी हैव टू हैंडल सो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड फर्स्ट वेरी बेजिक अबाउट द मार्केट कंप्लेंट सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विथ वॉट इज अ मार्केट कंप्लेंट so market complaint is a practically a complaint to our product which is inside in the market for the consumer use for the patient use and the consumer the user finds any mistake any any lacuna any deficiency into the product so who can raise market complaint so market complaint can be raised by practically anybody for example the doctor the nurse the user the patient the family member of the patient friend and the patient the wholesaler the pharmacist the retailer anyone anyone who is using our product or using our product to deliver to a patient for example doctor or nurse finds anything wrong with the product can raise a market complaint what should be the defect or what types of defects which can result into the market complaints it can be as simple as cosmetic defects such as torn carton mishandled label missing label or label is not legible it's smudged manufacturing or expiry date is not clearly visible or smudged it's not properly packed if the, there is a there is a spots on the external surface of the product then tablet strip or vial so uh, cosmetic so these are the cosmetic defect which can result into the market complaint what are other somewhat more critical defects or major defects it's not clearly classified but the defects which can which is more uh, serious rather than just a cosmetic defect such as the bottle is difficult to open the number of tablets in the strip are less than required or tablets are discolored the vial or the aluminum flip up of the vial is not uh, removed easily or while removing the vial the entire seal and stopper removed out of the vial there is a leaky ampule leaky respules leaky bottle leaky syrup bottle discolored capsules or mix up mix up for example if you have red color tablets and one tablet comes as orange color which is over the product then it's a major defect or serious concern missing leaflet there is no patient information leaflet inside the uh, container product container not legible product name so these are the defects which are somewhat uh, serious or critical and if not handled or if in there can lead to uh, serious consequences to the end user or to the patient next level of complaint are there is no effect of the drug for example the tablet has been taken or injection has been given but there is no effect on to the patient or patient not getting recovered for example your antibiotic capsules are being used and 3 days course is there after 3 days there is no improvement into the infection then it's a no effect if painkiller injection is used and after giving the painkiller injection there is no effect on the patient patient still suffering pain then there is no effect what are the other type of defects other type of defects are discolored product for example taking for the example of injections if product description is clear colorless solution and if there is yellowish solution or turbid solution then there is a critical defect so all these type of complaints can be received for complaint received complaint to company there are various mechanism to receive the complaint open channels customer care numbers helpline numbers or patient sometimes gives the direct complaint to the fda or to the drug or local drug authority or they write in email they write a letter they may message on the given number they can directly call on to the customer care number if they know somebody in the company then they call that person or the relative or friend into the company that in your i have taken this product for, of your company and there is a defect so there are lot of channel through which complaint can be received and as a organization we should welcome all the complaints we should receive the complaints from any source whether it, whether it is 
company defined source or company not defined source this should entertain all the complaint now what happens if the market complaint is received so i'll not go into the formal uh, recording part or how to document the market complaint because it can vary from company to company but yes of course we have to formally record it it can be market complaint it can be incident whatever the system company might be using for logic locking of the complaint so once complaint is locked what should be your first steps first steps is to and and before before going for explanation of the complaint part let's understand that any market complaint is a serious concern because lot of people will not do the complaint if they find a word tablet less into the uh, bottle or in a strip sometimes they may consider it's okay who is going to complain and then why should i go and complain and waste my time it's only one tablet one tablet missing if it is difficult to open container then if it is open finally then that's okay okay sometimes it happens so any just understand out of 100 problems faced by the out of the problem faced by 100 customers hardly one two or five will raise a complaint so you consider that if you are receiving a one complaint it is possibility that more than 100 people might have experienced the same issue with your product so each and every complaint should be taken very very seriously so once you receive the complaint first point try to gather as much of information possible and always keep in mind any complaint can be our fault there is typically a mindset that if complaint is there it's company by mindset employees mindset is like that it's not my fault i have manufactured the product correctly the end user might not have used it properly or handled it properly leading to the complaint so there's a in general thought process sometimes prevails into the persons who are working into the manufacturing plant so don't don't go that way each and every complaint is critical and you have to doubt our own system first rather than doubting the customer or end user because of the reason or for the reason of the complaint so once you receive the complaint try to get all the information or as much of it as information possible that when the what was the product what was the batch number from where it was purchased how it was used who has used it it was a direct patient or the nurse or the doctor how it was identified was it i'll take an example to better explain if i receive a complaint that in a clear injectable solution when it is drawn into the syringe it was colored so what sort of question should be asked first is whether the product was having proper manufacturing and expiry was it a correct product was it stored at the required storage condition was the product information leaflet was referred before you before using the product whether the new syringe was used or it was mixed with the other product so normally what happens into the pharmacy sometimes not all the times nurses if they have to give three different different injection at a time then there is possibility they uh, the, he or she will mix the injection and administer to pay, administer to the patient but if the injection is not compatible one of the injection is not compatible chemically with the other injection then it can lead to discoloration or if a injection is used once and it is same injection is being used to, to give the other injection to the same patient at the same time then then there is a possibility of a uh, reaction chemical reaction or chemical interaction which can lead to discoloration storage temperature whether the product was correctly stored light exposure if the product is light sensitive and after after taking the container out of the maybe freeze or storage area if it is was exposed to light and kept at a room temperature for a long time then there is a possibility so you have to ask as many as question possible to get the relevant information why not to challenge the customer but to understand that what might could have wrong gone wrong at the user end second part is our second is second most important is try to get the complaint sample so having a complaint sample on hand is very very important to practically or thoroughly investigate the complaint if the sample is there we can physically verify it if required we can test it we can send to external lab also we can identify so we can we can see what exactly might have gone wrong with the product if physical sample is not there 
if physical sample is not there or not possible to send or already consumed or destroyed by the uh, end user then another option is to have a call with the end user pharmacist patient or customer or some family member from the customer it is very important if you can call and ask questions that interaction will help many ways rather than email communication so it is always a good idea to call the customer call the end user and get the information or ask what was exactly happened so that is another best possible way to dig out the as much of information as possible from the complainant once you have done that now what is the next step the next steps are or we have to parallelly start our own investigation so our own investigation how we can do it first is if it is complaint related to the product appearance or some cosmetic defect or external defect we have to check our own retention sample for the same batch whether the discoloration is there into the retention sample whether the smudging of batch number or improper carton or or torn carton possibility is there or not if there is a missing tablets then we can open our uh, we can our verify our strips tablet strips that whether we have any such issues second part is document verification so we have to verify the entire batch record and batch manufacturing record and batch packing record of the batch to see whether there was any abnormalities were there or not so it is must to understand that if there is a deviation during the batch manufacturing process then it might have or breakdown during the batch manufacturing process it might have well documented at that time the breakdown or the incident so we can refer that but apart from that specific to the complaint type we have to dig into the deeper details check out the more details that with respect to this specific complaint what might have gone wrong during the batch for example uh, missing tablets in the strip whether we have to see what machine we have used how it is uh, arranging the tablet how 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 the uh, this uh, blister packing operation goes on what are the possibilities that uh, tablet can miss out into the blister packing what is my visual inspection process what are my existing control is there any lacuna into the existing control which in spite of having such uh, in spite of having robust machinery robust automation whether it can miss or not if it is product discoloration whether there was a chances of uh, in during the product manufacturing that during filling any specific container might be not properly cleaned might not be properly sterilized what are those chances or after the filling was there what what are the what are the chances that any specific container or group of containers might have uh, gone uh, differently might have behaved differently and lead to the uh, discoloration of the product now uh, specific specific batch has to be verified but all the batches across the if, if a product a certain batch number has issue then we have to verify all the batches of product a available as our retention sample if there is no obvious root cause then we have to deep down the investigation we have to check each and every batch available with us we have to check complaint history whether the same product has a similar complaint in past or not if there is no complaint history then we have to dig down within the batch and across the batch that whether this specific lot this specific api lot this specific primary packing material lot had any issues or not so all this information will help you to understand that what can be the root cause if root cause is at our end then we have to take corrective action or appropriate actions and also intimate to the customer or the end user that yes okay uh, we identified this and we are correcting this root cause so whatever the policy of the company as per the complaint that we have to give a new product or re uh, refund the money whatsoever that that has to be done in next video i'll um, uh, i'll explain how to intimate regulatory agency if, if there is a critical complaint and if we suspect that there will be a possible market action we have to take with respect to complaint so be with me be with my channel and hope this uh, video will be helpful to uh, better investigate the complaint and better document the market complaint thank you thank you very much for watching my video